Hey, Buckle! Buckle, get out of my car! I'm a big my shoulder! He's a big and tall boy! He's a big and tall boy! Get him! I tell y'all what, this bad weather that we had last night has knocked the fish off. I didn't bend in seven or eight good holes. So, I'm gonna have to hunt them down. Woo! Okay. All right, folks, I'm gonna let this, this skipjack heron right here thaw. Uh, it ain't quite thawed right now. Y'all can see there's all kinds of stuff. There's a big part of a tree going down the river. Um, a lot of trash in the water. The water's very, very high. And the speed of the current, I'm right on the current seam, I believe. And I may be wrong. I'm going to try this two ounce. No roll sinker right here. And the way I've got it rigged up is just a Carolina rig. One of my favorite ways to fish in the river. But that's a two ounce, which I may have to go to a three ounce. A bead, big beefy swivel, 50 pound test, uh, Andy leader, one of around two feet. That's my favorite length. And right here is an eight all Gamakatsu circle hook um notice right there it has an offset in it i put that offset in there uh, i bought these at bass pro shop and they were straight they didn't have an offset so i just take a pair of pliers and put my own in it i believe in that offset you'll it just seems like i hook up with more fish like that and on my main line right here is 40 pound test and i'm using a bass pro shop cat max um and uh yeah this is 40 pound test line which i think i didn't mention that this other reel is rigged up exactly the same but this is a catfish special uh made by ambassador it's the 6500 c3 um caught a lot of fish on this right here both of these reels have slow gear ratios so more like a winch type deal but i just hope this two ounce a hold i believe it will we'll see let's start off with a head about that size i'm just gonna cut it at an angle like that then we'll take a bitey piece about that big not just real big baits right now i may put a 10 out hook on and fish with a whole one here or almost a whole one. Let's see what we can do. But this is fresh skipjack. I just have vacuum sealed these a couple days ago. My goodness, I caught about 50, so I didn't have any chance. I mean, no choice but to go ahead and vacuum seal them. We got plenty of catfish bait now. All right, let's take this and let's hook him like that. That right there, that'll do it. I'm, I want as much exposure of hook point exposed. <laughs> now this is a snail knot right here. All these knots here are uh, trilene knots. Now this herring head, I'm just gonna find that little crease right there. And then hook him just like that see i've got a lot of exposure right there boy some swift water look here folks oh this creek is throwing a lot of water out hitting the main river right here behind us and that might be the place to go right here i'm going to ease on up in this creek though a little bit look at it okay y'all see this creek leading into this feeder creek that creek right there that looks good to me let's see what we got 22 feet of water okay i'm gonna try that we're getting a bite right here i got a little bite there i don't know if it was a channel 
or what. He didn't commit, folks. But I'm sitting right here in the mouth of a creek or a cut that's causing a lot of um, eddy right here. And the water is quite a bit shallower right here. I tell you, I'm having a hard time finding fish, but at least we got a bite right here. This is a great place for catfish to accumulate. Places like this. Uh, now it's deep rock throwing distance out there, probably about 25 feet of water. So I am fishing a drop right here. And we did get a little channel cat bite right there. Well, let's see what's going on. Whoa, wait, 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 folks. This is a good one. The only problem it is, it is he's hung up in something. Dead, gone it. Let's see if we can get him out. What I'm gonna do is just hold pressure on the big son of a gun. And try to get him out. Now, being he's in this debris like this, I can't talk, folks. It could be a big flathead. I'm not sure. You know, flathead love debris. What I'm talking about debris, there's a lot of rocks in here. Here's that creek I was talking about. Uh, and they could be some trees down in there too. There's a lot of something. I've done been broke off, like I said, a couple times trying to stay here on this spot good fish though whatever he is let's see what we got uh no it's just a blue the current's rolling so hard y'all can see that that i'm having to use a five ounce weight right here to hold it and it makes these fish feel a lot bigger than what they are Ooh. Now you're talking about fighting right here. This this rod right here, this one right here got broke. This silver cat rod. I broke it right here, so I just put this one in, put a big five ounce weight. I'm excited. I can't even talk. I've been having a hard time locating these fish. This one right here's got a three ounce and it's not holding it. So I'm gonna have to go to a heavier weight. I had a hard time finding them because I don't know anything about this creek at all. I just know if you got a creek coming into a creek, you got a good situation and plus a lot of de debris cover. Come on in here. Oh God. <laughs> It makes them feel so big. I got, wait. Well, y'all give me some patience. I'll get the son of a gun. Maybe. Yeah, I got him. My goodness gracious. This net ain't deep enough. Really? Ah, oh, yeah, it is. Really, that's a pretty good fish. We're in y'all see like 23 feet of water and now we're going past the creek so I'm going to have to re-anchor up there doggone it I wonder if that anchor didn't go get hung up this is how you learn spots though in places you just got to get out here and explore to learn these places like this okay I'll show him to you he give me a fit there ain't no doubt in this current. Not really that big of a catfish. It ain't too shabby, but it ain't really what I want. But I found something right here, I believe. I'm going to get back over there, anchor, and see if we can do that again. Uh, let's catch another. I believe that's going to be a prime spot. We'll see you, though. That's a good blue. Not exactly what we're wanting. But I'm happy that I got a bite 
I've been searching for these fish. Whoa, here. Oh, that was a cat. I finally got anchored right here. I got a little bit closer, folks. And I'm actually straddling the, the drop off right here. If it a hold, we almost caught one right there. That was a blue, blue cat right there, or I think it was. Probably a small one. He dropped that big bait. Hey, you look here. Maybe that's him again. There we go. He did, he decided to, folks. He messed with that for a while, didn't he? I need to move my arms out there so y'all can see what's going on. He messed with that for a while and he finally, finally got it. Oh my goodness. I, I know for a fact that this is the, the strongest current I've ever fished in. And I'm gonna be back. I hope he didn't get my other line. I believe he did. Can't do nothing about it. But this is the stoutest. I'm using a five ounce weight plus a weight because I don't have a six or seven ounce weight. He's got it all tangled up in here. Now, if I say if I were to hook one, oh, 60, 70 pounds, I would be in trouble. I would. I'd have to pull up that anchor. What I'd have to do is put that, lighten that drag up so he couldn't break my line, put it in the rod holder and pull that anchor up. That's the only way I could land one. Or if I have one of them round big floats that you could unclamp. But see, I'm just having to haul that old thing up here. Now that son of a gun is ugly, but like I said, I am too. Look here what a mess I got, but I got that catfish. I didn't quit. I knew he'd come up that drop. Man, he's fat. But look here what I'm having just to keep it on the bottom. That's a five ounce and a, I believe that's a two ounce. So that's seven ounces, ain't it? <laughs> oh man, now tomorrow, would probably be a better day right here and I may come back because it's going to slow down a little bit to where you can fish it a little bit more effectively. Whoa! Hey, I'm talking about whoa. Hey, man. Whoa! Quit, 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 quit. Nothing to write home to mom about, but hey, it's a rough old day, but I'm a rough old Cartner man. Let's let him go. Quit, quit. Sorry, folks. Going back. They. It wasn't that bad a deal anyway. All I got to do is tie me another fresh leader on that other one. Whoa! <laughs> Golly! But... Hope I ain't hung up. Y'all cross your fingers. Yeah, that's what I'm dealing with. I'm talking about every couple minutes at a wad up there like that. I love it. But if fishing was easy... A Welmer do it. He's got old hair in his nose and his ears, on his chin, on his old back. He ain't got none on his head, but every, everywhere else. Everywhere else. Woo! Let me get that off of there. Let's put that old head. Now, I'm using a five ounce on this one because the water's a lot shallower. This side's shallower. And over here's the brake line. I'm just hoping one will creep up in this shallow water. Oh, that one. They. And eat that old head in here. No begging. I don't want them little old scrunts. Well, it ain't gonna work like I want to. I'm gonna let it hit the bottom real slack up to the, bump the swivel. Uh, like that and put it in there. And in two minutes or three, I'll get these old grass off of it. And let's do it again. We'll do it again. <clears throat> Boy, I'll tell you, anybody be like that, they don't want to it. I think there's a fish on this one. Let's crank down and see. Yep. 
They are. <laughs> sure are. We have the mouth of the... <clears throat> that fish is fighting harder than I thought. I mean, I thought it was a small fish. He hit it and come up. Don't get in that other line. Let's don't do that again. Please. There we go. He ain't all that big. That's why I always reel my... Every time it's from Richard Jean. I can, some of these dudes can have 50 rods out, folks. I'm not good enough for that. Listen to him, he's already croaking. Now, I'm going to show you something right here. Doggone it. I'm going to have to get my net. Sure as a world. Ain't that big, but this current is rolling. I keep saying that, but I ain't never seen that like it. That was a lot of rain. The most I've seen in a long time fall that quick. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all, excuse me. Right here, let's see if we can capture him. There he is. Not a very big one. That's a baby blue. Come on in here. Pretty fish, yo. <clears throat> well, there's another one, folks. That's not a very big one. Well, he would be, he wouldn't be bad if he had some weight on him. That one's a little bit skinny, ain't he? But, um, I'm having fun. I'm learning. Learning new places. That's what you gotta do. You gotta explore. They is a female fish. Let's let her go. There you go, little gal. She's mad. She is very, very mad. Woo! I ain't seen the, I ain't seen so much water. Folks, this is something else. It was a lot of flooding going on in it. There's a lot of water right here, but I'm gonna go on. Uh, Mama's got some homemade chicken soup. She just called me. Mama Sue did. And I got a long, pretty long drive to get back home. But we did find a new hole to fish in. I'm always doing that. And I tell you what, that's what I look for situations like this. on In areas on big, big river systems. If I don't know anything about it, I'll go to the basics. Um feeder creeks and also creeks coming into a feeder creek are excellent areas by the fam uh, catfish now <clears throat> this area right here would be great for flatheads here in a little bit and i'm going to come back with some big old bluegill big as my hand and we'll see what we can do but i want to say thank y'all very much god bless each and every one of y'all thank you for everything you've done I want to say this, one should never give up on anything, hey, it's not the American way, woo, I'm talking about, woo, wow, and remember, oh, go fish it when you can, my call is good.